Okay, my friends. Um, this video is going to be about um, the recent explosions that have been taking place. Um, well, the recent explosion that took place on Mars with Comet sighting. Um, there is a lot of different theories about that that explosion. Uh, I wanted to talk about some of this because some. Uh, well, you know, some of my subscribers and some of my uh, viewers, um, they had interact, you know, interacted with me over at my YouTube channel, and they wanted to know um, what I think about Comet Sighting, and um, um, you know, the, they wonder if I missed the comet or not, uh, and wonder what I think about happening with uh, the Mars uh, impact on Mars, the explosion. Um, well, I'll just start by saying um, I think it's a pretty big deal that um, you know the comet uh, or part of the comet or or you know a small star that could have been traveling with the comet or whatever theory that someone wants to come up with it something impacted Mars and uh, some people believe that it's a UFO other people believe it's a comet some people think that it might have been a um, a miniature uh, star that was traveling with the comet. Um, I believe that you know whatever cosmic force you know caused the comet, or whatever it was that struck Mars to strike Mars, was uh, so like a, a cosmic attack on Mars. Um, you know, planets get hit with big objects, um, you know, in in our solar system. And uh, it's happened before. Uh, I think it's just a wake-up call to us that um, you know our Earth could be hit by a comet or hit by some you know whatever heavenly body that it is. It's I mean, a, a star. I think it, there are some theories that there was a a star of some type uh, traveling with the comet Ison back in the comet Ison days, but um. I've uh, I've recently seen um, one of the videos on um, on YouTube uh, over at BP Earthwatch. Um, they talk about um, the Mars explosion, and what I wanted to talk with you, my friends, is about you know just my disgust with NASA, the way that they handled the Kama Ison um, incident. And uh, how that they really let us down um, when we needed to see what was going on with the comet. They turned all their, you know, they turned all the cameras off and, you know, basically tried to, you know, hide what was going on with that from the public. Um, the only country that ever cared about us here in the U.S. and you know, in the world enough about us uh, was Russia. And um, you know, I, I gave public thanks to Russia and its leaders um, publicly on my Twitter page, and I do so again here um, in person. Um, you know, thank you, um, leaders in Russia, and uh, and you know, thank you for warning us about the um, what was really going on in space with the asteroids and the big objects that were uh, coming toward our Earth. Um, you know, so we much appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, you can come through again on all this uh, situation that uh, this explosion that happened on Mars, and if there's, you know, any dangers from debris that's surely been kicked up into the outer atmosphere, and maybe headed toward Earth, um, or whatever it is, whatever other dangers there are. Hopefully, we'll have countries like Russia step up again and. Uh, and warn the uh, American public because our leaders in NASA uh, you know fled underground and waited for all of us to die is basically what, what happened with that so no thanks to you all for um, cowering out on us I don't like you I'd like to use like four letter words like F you and stuff like on here I plan that I plan to do that earlier I was really angry earlier when I um, really kind of been meditating today about um, the real dangers that can come from stuff with uh, 
what I call cross uh, planetary contamination where stuff from one planet um, travels through blank space or travels through the solar system and uh, it ends up hitting another planet where you know there's uh, foreign elements and particles and various different types of uh, microorganisms and various different viruses and other things that can be in that material. Um, what I believe has happened is probably that there's such a huge explosion on Mars. Um, I've been hearing all sorts of, you know, like stories that are way out there on YouTube. I mean, and, and it's not to take away from anybody. Some people believe that aliens live on Mars. I mean, you, you see like MTV videos of people like glamorizing aliens and you know, doing all sorts of weird stuff with aliens. But um, whatever's whatever's in the cosmos was obviously not very friendly with Mars this time. And, uh, you know, it hit Mars and, you know, completely messed Mars up. I mean, it, Mars is, Mars took a rock and it knocked a crack through that planet. And here's the other thing that i tell you about NASA. I'd like to just ask NASA right here in this video. NASA, you've got cameras that can see much further into Mars and with much greater detail. So why is it that we have to wait with all the technology and all the American taxpaying dollars that's been sent to you, NASA, that you can't show us what's going on? We're getting sick and tired of you, NASA. I hope people at NASA, I know there's some good people over there at NASA, and this, this isn't all the way at everybody at NASA, but you all have messed up. And you messed up with Comet Ison, you cowered out, you didn't tell the American public the truth about all those continents, uh, the continents um, that could have been in danger from all those meteors that were coming at our country. And we had to rely on Russia to warn us about what was, you know, most probably could have happened. If that, that asteroid wouldn't have hit the Atlantic Ocean and it would have hit land, it would have been a whole lot worse than you know it. We can't rely on you, NASA, to help protect us as the American you know, public because none of you cares about us. We don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like any of, any of it. And all of you idiots over there at NASA that are behind the cover-ups need to be brought to trial because you you put the public at risk when you hide stuff from the public. That's the truth about that part. Now, why in the world, NASA, won't you show uh, the close-up of what's really going on on Mars? I mean, you're always showing a stupid robot and the rest of the stuff that you have over there. You know you have better equipment sitting out there. And you won't even show us the pictures from the nuclear rover. You won't show us the up-close stuff that's going on. And in Mars, NASA, you're completely worthless to the American public. You're not doing anything besides showing us crumbs and throwaway pieces. There's never been anything for us at all. You really let me down, NASA. And um, for the reason that everybody at NASA is responsible, I hate you. I personally hope that all your karma comes back to you and all the stuff that you've been doing eats away at your conscience until you pull all your hair out and know that you completely let the public down. You're all a bunch of cowards. Now to my friends watching this video, I didn't mean to have to be venomous in this video towards NASA, but I am anyhow. Uh, I'm sick and tired of NASA and our public officials here in our, in our country and our leaders cowering out and building their little tubs and stuff underneath the ground and waiting just for us to just get, you know, thrown to whatever damage and danger is coming. I'm the one that tells you the truth about it. That's the reason why you we have to rely on each other in independent, um, you know, it's independent observatories. The only reason we can see anything what's really going on, like even the explosion that took place with um, Mars, is is thanks to in, independent observatories, not NASA. NASA is the one that like comes up with all these different. Uh, um, NASA shows what NASA does. I'm going to tell you what NASA does. Those crooks over at NASA. They let their cameras catch everything that's going on at Mars. All right. Then they edit out anything that might be like um, extraterrestrial or extra. And when I'm saying extraterrestrial, I'm not talking about 
the Jetsons or aliens. I'm talking about microorganisms and different things that may be their life forms. NASA um, basically shows us a computer, a computerized um, version of what they have really on camera. That's how they come up with all that in the first place. It really pissed me off. And uh, then that way you don't see, you know, the different uh, orbs that are floating by or metallic looking structures that may or may not be spaceships. I don't, I don't care if there's aliens or not. Not anymore. Not the way that NASA's done. Uh, they certainly won't tell us about anything. They're nothing but a cover-up organization that ought to be bulldozed. Every last bit of them. Because if the American public is paying your salary, NASA, you owe us to tell us what's going on out there. And that's the truth about that part of it. So my friends, I'm telling you that NASA ain't going to tell us the truth about this. What I believe happened, if there is alien life on Mars, they got effed up. And there's cosmic powers that are greater than spaceships floating around out there. So don't be fooled by anything. Don't be fooled by NASA's lies and cover-ups. And um, our leaders of our government, they can't step up like Russia's leaders did and look our people in the face, at least in some speech, and tell them exactly what happened. That was sick, man. It was just, you know, it took me a long time to get to where I'd say exactly what I felt like saying about that. But that's how I feel about it. And I know there's a lot of you out there that feel the same way. What we can look forward to, if um, that explosion was as bad as I think it is, is a lot of extraterrestrial material. Microorganisms could be alive, could survive through dead space. They may land on Earth and cause all sorts of you know, disturbances on Earth from weather disturbances to uh, elements ending up here having God knows what effect on um, you know, life on Earth so in our atmosphere and our weather so that's what we may be facing my friends I'm not a doomsday person I hope that uh, everything turns out good and wonderful and it's a, a fairy tale for all of us but obviously that ain't gonna be what happens we're gonna have some trouble uh, in, in in the future, my friend. So I hope what what I want for you to do is stay safe. Um, uh, try and be spiritual. Uh, try and look for um, the spirit in this. Try, try and find some positivity in it, and also know that there are real dangers that exist in our universe, and sometimes the cosmos brings them to um, you know to our front door. Basically, we have to. Um, survive and if we don't survive then we either survive or don't so um, I'll probably do some more um, videos on this uh, common explosion um, or or um, Mars explosion whichever probably both I'll probably do another video about this in the future I'm glad that uh, you took time to watch this video and feel free to leave comments appreciate you my friends